Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51. First round matchup, what a what a corker of a game this could be. We've got Vlad GR with Skaven, uh, down a bunch of TV actually with uh, Glart and Skitter. Up against Diamond with a really, really nice undead team. In the booth with me is Faimir, hello! Hello everybody, and we like to dedicate this game to our viewers in... Monaco. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. they speak French there, Jimmy. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. And there, is, uh, there is a lot of money there. I'm pretty sure they have eggs in Monaco, not like in the UK, <laughs> where it's nearly impossible to find eggs. This country is falling apart one egg at a time. <laughs> Amazing. What a, what, what a country to get to, to just be able to lead straight in with that. <laughs> No, 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 I just improvised it, you know. I never said the line ever before uh, in my life. <laughs> Fantastic. Is this a natty? Oh. It is. So we've got a natty, and he's just going straight for the, the score, is he? No, surely he's going to protect it. Um, so, yeah, Vlad Gia has a babe, a wizard, a glart, and skitter. Um, I don't know where skitter is. I've lost track of skitter there, skitter. Uh... Got a mighty blow, tackle, jugs. Dirty player. Um, see you later. All girl. right, that's the. Another cutter. The Diome, the. IG4 gun. Yep, Diome does have a tackle. Sorry, pom. strength. Strength 4 gun. Strength 4 wrestle, yep. But he's got a tackle pommer. And he's got an edge, and he's got another strength. And a guard, cool. It's a really nice team for Diome. But can it beat a natty? I guess he's gonna pom this. Uh, this. Hello, Southern Phil. Mm -hmm. Which is funny, isn't it? to see. Just, sorry. No, go on, go on. You are still saying anything about the game? Yeah, it's funny. I, I would have blitzed this guy, but like, I mean, there's a gutter right here. You, you would think that would be like an obvious one because you could you could foul the gutter and then foul blitz the gutter with pom and then fa tackle pom and then foul him with this. But then obviously that's getting you away. And like, but I like that we're both both Diamond and myself are both kidding ourselves that we can possibly defend against this fucking natty at all. You know, but like, still he's still blitzing the deepest guy and getting back in front and trying to pressure the skull. Nice oh, to see. Nice foul there. Mmm, lovely. And yep, hello, Sada. Hello, Sada Phil. I'm pretty sure you're a... How do you mean, so have a very busy time of the year. Christmas, Christmas is a period where many and famous and people and die. Like, you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just fucking hell. Fucking rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stephen Bonner died. I was actually sad about that. Mostly when people die, they're old as fuck, aren't they? And I don't care anymore. Yeah, I mean, when, you know, it's like Pelé. He's uh, very close, but he's like 82 years old, and he has a very good life. Ooh, stab! Oh, so he is going to score. It's what a stab blitz so. tells you. <laughs> there you go. So there they go, the natty goes in. Yes, but I also find it's very funny that, you know, Argentina wins the World Cup. Pele goes instant to the intensive care unit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, not a good not a good month for Brazil fans, is it? Brazilians even. No, 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 not at all. Um, so yeah, so bangs it in quick, which, which you know to be fair, I feel like he had to, right? Um his team isn't very good. It's only eleven rats. He's got two stars making it thirteen. He's got a wizard and a babe, so he's down loads and loads of TV. Um, so it makes sense. I would not have fielded him on defense. I would have definitely benched him. This is your win con. He has a tackle pommer. I would not have. I mean, I know he's got a wizard, and then that makes it, you know, three rats with a wizard, but it's, oh, it's a big, it's a big, big moment, isn't it? I don't fit, see him doing anything on defense, but I guess it does add to the wizard threat. It's a lot of turns. To you know, uh, keep the under the, the bay. Yeah, that's the problem. That is the problem. So yeah, maybe you know, just yes, the. Like if if I'm Diamond, I want to see that player on the pitch because it means there's a chance that 
it, you know, I can hit it and I can foul it and I can kill it. <laughs> I've got no idea, Raddy Tilly. Literally, as oh. soon as I finish watching a match. Oh, IMAX 3D! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually there and, uh, with a block mummy, with one of the block mummies. Yeah, the mummies are incredible, aren't they? Both with block. Unbelievable, Jeff. And both break tackle rather than stand firm uh, as the third skill. Interesting. Super interesting. Uh, yeah, literally as soon as the match has ended, I've forgotten all about it. Like, you can't, I can't remember them, can you? Oh, blood! I... Could be. <laughs> you are asking the, too much from us, uh, Aditelli. You are asking yeah. too much from us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we can remember perfectly the day uh, Dimi G fell from the chair. But <laughs> these kind of things, impossible. No chance. Yeah. I got to remember what I was thinking like five minutes ago. So definitely can't remember anything like that. Both DPs, yeah, it's a good point, good point. You could have gone for a foul. Like, you probably should be fouling to just try and get it. But then, on the other hand, you do want a DP available to foul the gutter runner. So there's an argument for just getting the steamroller going by fouling every turn, but then also it's really important you have a DP free for if you inevitably, if you inevitably, if you eventually knock down this gutter. A chair shot heard around the world. Getting around both sides, it doesn't really matter. But then I guess it maybe it's luring him into the centre where he can make a big mega bunker. Ooh! But, I mean, you do want to make a mega bunker. And yeah, huge nice. now. Look, look if sorry, this guy going down there. If there was a DP on both sides, he could yes. have fouled the skitter. Would have been huge. He still uh, can foul the skitter with one of the random zombies uh, close by, but it's not the same. Yeah, he's not. I don't think he's going to. Shame on you for making fun of a veteran. <laughs> yeah. Who's a veteran? Dimmy, isn't he? He's down the foxhole. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, aiming for the, the veteran discount. Yeah. A blockless block. Honestly, this blockless block. Fuck off, Dimmy. What does it even achieve? It frees this guy up. Ah, oh, is he going to blitz him? I thought he'd have blitz Glad. And if you're blitzing Glad, then you just don't need that block. So, but he's not blitzing Glad. That's interesting. Oh, he's blitzing the one turner. Of course he is. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. You have to do that block first then. Wow. There was Andy could have fouled him as well potentially. But I mean, that is wow. So he did a great. So to be fair, right? The natty. I feel the natty on defense has done a great job because he's eaten that blitz, which has now given him some kind of a chance to get the ball and win, hasn't it? Yeah. Pretty decent chance probably. He already used the re-roll dog to the dog, so I don't think he would have re-rolled that hit. <laughs> I don't think you <he> would. <laughs> he won in nine with the uh, blockless block. Before yes, but the blockless block so was a one in nine, yes. I mean, in any other circumstances, that was 100% the uh, re-roll. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and I don't think anybody would disagree with fouling that fucker. Oh, no! Did he have to do this GFI? Big Hand. Uh, maybe did a thing, didn't it? Maybe did a thing. I think Big Hand did a thing there. Uh, only maybe, right? Because he, he, he rolled a two on the pickup, but he would have had, he's had sure hands anyway, so. So we don't know really if Big Hand did a thing. I mean, two heads. Two heads will be, in my opinion, will be much more useful for a Gata Runner than Big Hand, but. Yep. At least it's not extra arms. Yes. <laughs> so is, is he going to get a hit on this man? Did he have to GFI? That's the thing. I don't think he had to. But maybe he did. Maybe he did. To be fair, looking at this, he would have. Uh, if he if he was stood here, 
he could, he could have not followed there. Cancelled. And 2D the ball, so yeah, I think he did have the GFI actually. And then maybe he could have just positioned differently to protect him. But it's probably worth a 136, isn't it? Gets to, gets to hit the natty again. Does re-roll it. Does nothing. Oh, sadness. Dio Med is not, not having the dice on his side. No. Nope. Six dice on that natty. Don't get the knockdown. Gets the foul now with the DP, though. A lovely foul. On Skitter. Does nothing. Wow. <laughs> I think I would have rolled the power on that night. I, I know I would. Oh, man. These blockless blitzers. Oh, why make a blockless block? A blockless block. Surely What's there was a better really? way. Was that really, you know, the first action of the time? No, surely. I would have blitzed. I would have blitzed that guy with a mighty blow. And then that frees up him. And then... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe maybe, maybe that was fine. But you've got, obviously you've got to hit that guy. I feel like he should be like holding a higher line and giving himself space to move into instead of just starting down here. You know, like hold the ball here. So you've got to, you've got you know, if you hold the ball here with the screen, then you can go to there and then go to there and stall out a bit longer. And now the prep done. You know, man, he's gonna have to kill a lot of rats. He wants to have a chance in the second half. Yep. Hello, Dado. Oh, hello, Dado. I did so that you too. were playing Dungeons and Dragons the other day. Mm. For those that doesn't know, uh, besides Blood Bowl and Blatter Brothers, uh, Jimmy also plays D and D. Yeah. If he's got the same in two letters in the name, Jimmy plays it. <laughs> B, B or D, D, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Marvel characters, you know, that all of them, lots of them share the same uh, letters. You know, Peter Parker, uh, mm. Red Richards, uh, Scott Summers, mm. Bruce Banner, <laughs> uh, Stephen Strange. Yeah, yeah, they love, they love that, don't they? <laughs> I nice. probably because uh, there is sorry that you know when Stan Lee and all these guys were creating the characters they needed an easy way to remember all of them so that was <laughs> another foul now let's let's see something does nothing and gets sent no he gets Kaz he gets a Kaz and sent off okay I literally thought it was nothing it I didn't I don't know why I thought that but there you go, guys. Right. Gets a you also play Among Us. Oh, good no. stuff there. Well, don't actually play Among Us <laughs> Any, anymore. Used to play Among Us. I'd like to play it again, but need Dimmy. Just need Dimmy 100% to play Among Us. It's just not Among Us without Dimmy. I've played it without Dimmy, and it's just not the same. Well, there's, a, there's a still a chance for Diamond here, isn't there? Because now the Natty has to be fielded. And he's got a three-turn score. If he can score on this drive, then he can score on his own drive. Natty fails, or he gets him. And then he wins the toss and wins it overtime. So there is a route to victory for Diamond here. As terrible as being 2-0 down on your own drive is, I feel like Vlad had to stall out that half. Yes, I think... Uh... At least the wizard is gone, and uh, Dio may have three times to score. Yeah. It's really bad. It's really bad for Diamond, but at least he's got a, you know, a, a, there's a play to get him in, kind of thing. Okay, maybe the right is not helping here. But it's a pickup with uh, IG4 and Surhan, so. Mm. Yeah, rain is not what you want to see when the match is on Whoa. the line. I max 3D there with the <laughs> mummy, no results. <laughs> P 
Helios died. Oh, sad. Oh, we were talking about him just a few minutes ago. Okay, mm. yes. Satterfield ends the chat, you know, after finishing the work. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good job, Satterfield. <laughs> God. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Satter. I mean, it's all right. He was 82 year old, and if you are following his uh, life uh, in the last 20, 30 years, he had a very good life. Yes. Yeah, it's... Not bad at all, is it? I always think that's funny when people like, or, you know, go on and on about old as fuck people dying. It's like, who cares? You know, like without without being harsh, like it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old. It's that's like you know, they, yeah, they already did. You know, they have a massive legacy behind. They did that, so yeah, it's sad because okay, they were loved, you know, beloved uh, people, you know, idols for many, but you know. They did. They had a full life. Mm. Oh my it's God. not the same as when someone younger, you know? Yeah. Why did he cheer fire there? Why, why, like, why don't you assist with a gutter here? Like, wow. He doesn't, he doesn't protect this gutter runner, does he? Oh, what was this? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he didn't blitz him and he was dodging around. What the fuck? Did he misclick? Oh my god, what an awful turn from Vlad. Awful. Must be, uh, must be a misclick because if not, what, what's the point? To, yeah, it's got to be. He put in two assists. He put in two yes. assists for the blitz and then just <laughs> walked past him and stunned himself. <laughs> and exposed his gutter to a blitz. Oh my god. Oh, this is one of the worst. This is one of the worst moves of all time. Worst turns of all time. Oh, he pushes. Instant reroll. Because there's dirty players there as well this time. Here we go. And the dirty player has to foul. Like, he just literally yes, has to. Yes, he's turn seven. He's turn seven. You still have time to score. Everything is ready. The score is uh, more or less guaranteed now. You have to foul. <laughs> it's interesting, I would have done the same. Cancel the assist and then foul from here rather than count fouling in front. But maybe fouling in front is better. Gets a KO. Good, but probably not enough. One in four times, it's good enough. Oh no, the oh no, he's got a he's got a babe. So yeah, only one in nine times will that be good enough. Yeah, it's very unlikely to be good enough. Playoff nerves, maybe that was a, that was a really terrible turn. Actually, yeah. I think CNI knows. CNI the passing maybe. Yeah, who who knows how that happened, but um. I mean, it was his but choice was to expose the Natty, which was, you know, shouldn't have done. The Natty is how you win this game, isn't it? Yes, because in the, in the second half, you know, every time uh, Diomed scores, the Natty can counter a score. Yeah. Nah. The 1D fails. Been watching Temper Soul and thought he could, he could do. <laughs> Epic one D there, not the yeah. game. Got a blockless block here, haven't you? So you can tackle pom this guy as you blitz. On a 3D, IMAX 3D. <laughs> IMAX 3D coming into your screens. Get on the glasses. <laughs> Get the pow. Doesn't kill him. Diced. So just a GFI to score. And it's 2 1, and it's not actually that bad. There you go. 
Here comes the second half, big KO rolls for the rats. <laughs> the babe's working extra time. Yeah, it's actually worse for him though, right, to have the natty back now in a way, because he re you know, now it's got to survive the half. What he really wanted was the natty to stay out for this and then come back for the one turn. <laughs> but like, all he has to do is protect the natty. All you have to do, you've got one player, you've got one job. I would just start with him caged, <laughs> literally. Just... Yes, uh, protect the natty. Just try to get your uh, hits with your uh, mighty blow uh, piece, something like that. You oh, make it difficult for the Omed using the tackle uh, pomber. Stay away from the mummies, and that's it. I mean, that's it. Yeah, that okay, now it. it's much easier. Now it's much easier. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, oh. you'd think so. <laughs> oh, I mean, the ball is going to be, you know, in a very nice position for the rats to try something. Yeah. But this can backfire big time. If that zombie there rolls a six or the ball scatters back. It's <laughs> oh, <thank God. laughs> Oh dear. Am I getting an instant 3D? Happy days. Unafraid to follow and pile. I think I wouldn't have piled. I think I wouldn't have piled there because I would want my tackle pommer free to blitz the natty next turn. So I feel like I wouldn't have done that. Also, maybe do some moves to do with the ball before you do a 2D there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think okay, uh, the Omed is being carried uh, a little away. Yeah. You know, after all, the one carrying the ball is a zombie. It's hilarious that he pick up the ball, but oh, it's <laughs> he needs handle. to hand off. Yeah. Mm, I mean, I would have just kept it on him probably for another turn, but... Because it's a three plus handoff, isn't it? But I guess you do have to... But you, you, can, you only need to score on turn eight. You know, like... And then that gets you to overtime, doesn't it? Like, scoring early doesn't, doesn't do you any favours. So you pretty much want to start, you pretty much have to score on turn eight. So there's plenty of time to hand off to a ghoul or just score with a zombie. The, the only reason you don't want to score the turn 16 for the undead is to deny the chance of the, you know, score earlier to give the Skaven more turns so they don't go for the one turn so you have a chance of yeah. stopping them. You know, it's, I know it sounds a little counterintuitive. But when the one turner is so easy, having a natural one turner joint, instead of giving them just one turn, giving them, them three turns, it's more or less all right because you also get two turns to stop them or even counter score their score. Yeah. Good point. Oh, there's the cars. They're building up now, the cars. Yeah. Also, Skaven in the last uh, parts of the games, sometimes, you know, they don't know what to do with the turns. If you give them too many, it's like, what are you mm -hmm. supposed to do now? Mm. Hello, J. Leave. Uh, hello, J. Leave. Is he fouling a... Oh, okay, he's just not caging properly. It's like, why is he ca why is he why is he fouling a lineup? I kind of hate fouling somebody who isn't the natty. Um, but you know, fair enough. The natty or the Agatha runner or someone with icons, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, there I would have just I would have just kept the cage safe, like because this is like a four plus for a one D, isn't it? Oh no, he's got guard there. Okay. 
Okay, it's not it's not as bad as I thought. Um, because like you know, going for a four plus one D is like a fine thing to do if, if you could have done it. Oh wow, huge cars. Mm. Probably hurt no region. Yeah, it's not terrible to make that foul, but I just wouldn't have done it. I am just saying what I would do. You know, who can say if it's good or bad? But I would have definitely saved my. He found the big hand rat. I thought he was the. Yeah, I thought he was going to foul the lineman, but he didn't. He just left the cage, the cage open. Oh, that's a big one, because that's a uh, rather leaving the building. Yeah. Yeah, I would have just, I would have just kept the ball safe for that. Like just that turn, but and even then, I would have. Yeah, like, yeah, maybe if it's a big gang foul on him. But yeah, not just a one, just not just a no assist foul when you got you. Yeah, after all, that's the last gutter runner on the pitch for besides the one turner. Yeah, yeah, true. It is, it is a good play of the foul, but not what I would have done. But yeah, it could could well be the correct play. Correct. He's relying on these, well, he's not going down, isn't he? Um, if he wants to make some kind of cage. That's something he wants to do. <laughs> I don't know where the ball's going. Okay. Will we see a hit on the ball? Could uphill this gal. And then 4-3 for a 1-D. Or uphill then 1-D and then hit the ball. There's there's all sorts of things that he could have done that he hasn't. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. And another dodge. Lovely. How was your Christmas? Classic 3 plus. Guaranteed. Oh. Hello, Mr. Germani. 58 months! Oh. Where have you been, man? <laughs> I don't remember seeing your name ever. <laughs> you haven't seen Mr. Yemen, then? Mr. Germani, it's nearly... <laughs> Jesus Christ, nearly five years. Yeah. Yep. Been around a long time. Thank you very much, Mr. Yemen, then. Staying fantastic. It was all right, thanks. Nothing spectacular. Yeah, more or less what you want for Christmas at this time, eh? uh, certain points in your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted of Christmas. It wasn't because my mom, you know, wants me to have the, uh, for uh, uh, the Christmas Eve dinner. Uh, I would go other time of the year later. In two weeks time, the plane tickets is like a third of the price. Mm. But, you know, in the Fast and the Furious pitch up something is that family is important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder if the play here, right, was to hit hit the ghoul here, and if you pow, you've got an assist. And then if you've got the assist, you've got to cancel this and done the 5 plus dodging for the 2D. Um, so I think I would have done that hit first, and then thought about going for the 5, because he could have done it with tackle, 5 plus in for the tackle. Probably worth it. No, I think Vlad, uh, Vlad is in a low effort mode because he's already thinking about the one turn. Yeah, true, true. But I mean, you, you know, know, like it's just it was just an option, you know, like that's the thing. It's but, like Yeah. And the, but the problem with that, you know, we're going very casual is he's losing a lot of players. He is, yeah, yeah. And he can't because stop this, people getting hit. Yeah, well, but you can run away a little more or something like that, you know, because this half yeah. commitment Look at this. Ooh, ooh. KO'd. Ooh. <laughs> now that's a big one. That's a three plus for uh, winning the game in uh, regular time. Well, for, drawing, uh, drawing. The this thing, Diamond just got to, uh, you know. Oh yeah, the rats winning the game. The, the rats, the rats winning. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ, Mr. Yaman, I'm very sorry to hear that. Christmas are shite. 
Should be like the Olympic Games every four years. He just did an uphill there and cast himself. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it was good or bad? I mean, I can say it was bad. I, I think, uh, I don't know, I was just distracted by a second by the, some uh, reading Mr. Demanding and suddenly I got the runner leaves the pitch. Yeah, he uphill with him. Yeah, not the best present, no. There will be, you know, a bad taste comment like, you know, but now you have more time for Blood Bowl, but that's a very bad taste comment which <laughs> I would never do. I would never wish, wish more Blood Bowl on anybody. On <laughs> anybody, on anybody, yeah, yeah. There's a line you should not cross. <laughs> 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 So remember guys, less than two months for our Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh dear. Mm -hmm. Pre-ordered already. Yeah, a lot of people pre-ordered. Turns out Cyanide will write all along. When <laughs> they said this, uh, you'll all buy it anyway. <laughs> yes, Doesn't matter how is, shit it is. You'll there get is used a lot to of it. people that there is a lot of people that just don't follow the news as you know as close. I have a few friends back in Spain who were asking me about the Blue Bowl 3 because they were Nearly 100% were going to get it as soon as it came out. I said, guys, uh, maybe stop because I've been mm -hmm. watching it. <laughs> Just <laughs> wait at least a week after yeah. launch. Yeah. But that's the problem with people our age, that they have the money to spend but not the time. You know, you spend the money and then regret it. Yeah, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? The time is much more costly, isn't it, really? Yes. The pre-order bonus. Yeah. The pre-order bonus is like some cosmetics, isn't it? I mean, a tenner's worth of virtual currency. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, the cosmetics is alright because after all it's a miniature game, so the selling cosmetics is probably fine because that's exactly Games Workshop uh, business model. Yeah, like that. That's what selling, I've said that from the start. Selling cosmetics. Yeah, that's what I've said from the start. You know, like Blood Bowl should have had like a season pass. Like, and loads of people slayed it because obviously they didn't want to pay for a season pass. But like, I thought that was always what they should have done. You know, like get loads of cosmetics and season pass and all that kind of shit. But, um, yeah, maybe that's some pass, and they make. After the season pass, you know, make packs with the main things, you know, the teams and all that, so people can get the team. That's more or less all right. Mm. Terrible game. Right, here we go. Enzo. Where we get the one turn? Enzo, someone gifted you Blue Ball 3. <laughs> Are you actually telling me that some a member of your family or close friends knows that you play Blue Ball? <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, the people that you're selling it to, you know, are playing the game for thousands and thousands of hours and would definitely give you more money for, like, and, like, also, like, it's, as you say, it's like Games Workshop miniatures and that, you know, it yeah. lends itself to, to, uh, to that kind of thing. Shouldn't be on the LOS here, should he? He should be, he should be, like, here so he can't be fully blocked. If this is a perfect defense, he could fully block him. That's a rookie mistake there by uh, Blood. Yes, the Natis should never be in the OS. Mm. One way or the other, never in the OS. <laughs> PI, oh! Doesn't get him, but makes a gaping hole. Man, there's not many bloody undead left, is there? You've got two send offs and a KO that hasn't recovered. 
Oh, four. the ball. Seven, eight, only eight undead. Flip me. Big oh, roll. Rolls a one. Big roll. Gets the throw. Oh, he doesn't make oh. the catch. Disgusting. We've got no having time. catch. Rookie mistake. Flip me. Flip me. We've got overtime. So yeah, cosmetics. I always thought, you know, a great idea should be, you know, the cosmetics for the whole team. Like uh, giving teams, you know, like a Warhammer 40k uh, skins. Like mm. uh, Kenry being, you know, like Necron skins. <laughs> humans like the Imperial Guard. Eldar, you know, uh, elves like Eldar and all that. It's, uh, Chaos as Chaos Marines. That will be there, but probably there's a lot of uh, things involved with that, you know, with the rights of the Games Wars, but I don't know how they work the, their contracts and all that. Yeah. But yes, Imperial Guard for humans, you know, you can have an ogre instead of an ogre, you know, I mean, then it's very easy. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a million things they could do. Which I hope uh, they do, but they also focus on doing the game, you know. Very good to play, good fun, easy to get, good league system. Yeah. Cabal vision, cabal vision is very important. Yeah. yeah this is crazy, it's, it's eight aside, there's not even, there's not even less rats on the pitch. Unbelievable, the fouls have done good things, but have also been sent off. Yeah, it's crazy. Big catch. Oh, oh wow, dub Big skulls. Catch. Instant. Instant dub skulls. Should have maxed 3Ds there. Start with a 2D yes, and roll yes, dub skulls. Yes, yes, start with 3D is a mistake. <laughs> Maybe he should have made that a 3D, but probably not because he has to do the thing. Escape and breaking through. Making good use of that strength for the mm -hmm. Age of Sigma, right? You could have Age of Sigma things. You could have like different human teams. Like I know Kislev were a thing in Blood Bowl too, but you could have like Kislev human teams, couldn't you, and stuff like that. Can't yeah, no, no. Teams. There is a lot that you can have the um, uh, Space Wolves instead of Norse. <laughs> I mean, yes. After all. Games Wars of 90% of the business model when they're selling miniatures is more or less miniatures that look a lot alike, look alike a lot. Yeah. Especially with the uh, uh, Space Marines. Oof. Yeah, yes. It's an Arantes Don Ascamento. I'll never, never forget his name. Same with Ronaldo, Luis Nazario de Lima. <laughs> They're the two names. I used to know uh, Rivaldo's name, but I can't remember that anymore. But Rivaldo wasn't as good, and he was a dickhead. Probably Rivaldo can't even remember his name uh, either. So yeah. yeah, he was a dickhead. After all the parties. <laughs> that fucking dive in the World Cup, man, when he fucking clutched his head. What a cunt. Sorry, I just swore there, didn't I? But uh, he, he was. He was a complete dickhead, wasn't he, in the World Cup? Is the Brazilian uh, player course? You know they have very, uh, some good years and then mm -hmm. success gets to them. Have you seen Fat Ronaldo nowadays? I love that. I love that I'm fitter than the greatest footballer who ever lived. Like I'm about the same age as him. <laughs> I'm actually way fitter than the true, best footballer. True. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> be a bit and don't man, don't. Doesn't matter how many STDs have you have in your life, you have ten times less STDs than uh, Ronaldo. I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, 46, so he's four years older than me. I'm surprised he's that much older. I'm surprised he's that much older actually, because that means he was like 18 in, in France '94. Oh, I knew he was 17 then, wasn't he? Mm. Didn't play in France '94. 
In France, 94. America, USA, 94. It was, yeah, it was, France was the 98. Yeah, France, yeah, he did play in 98. Like, that was what, that was his big, that was his big, uh, cementing his place in the world stage, wasn't it? But then that weird, that weird stomach issue that he had in the final. Really weird. But yeah, I don't know why I said France, 94. <laughs> no one told me that. Yeah, it's. I don't know what he was doing, to be honest with this. Like, it's not. He hasn't got that many players that you can't afford to have this. Like, if you had a wizard, this is something, but. Mm, I don't like It's how... a very optimistic setup uh, for the rats there, you know? Mm. Considering that they're undead, are the ones with the ball. Yeah, it's. Did he know he was on defense? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly like uh... <laughs> Stacy Solomon and Josh Schwartz are respecting another baby. Well, okay, good for them, I guess. Yeah. I don't know who they are, so, uh, but I, he comes from Pedro Jack. Must be fantastic people. Stacy Solomon's lovely. <laughs> She was on uh, X Factor or whatever, and uh, is is a lovely oh. person. <laughs> and Joe Swash seems a bit a bit of a dickhead, honestly, but uh, is funny, very funny. He's like really funny. He's Joe Swash, diabolical pair. Wait, that's his actual name, Joe Swash. Joe Swash. Joe Swash. I thought <laughs> Swash was some nickname or acting name or something like that. No, it's his actual name. Yeah. Well, his stage uh, name. God knows what his actual name is. Oh, there we go. Fail the uphill. Not chunter like. And I think that seals the deal for Diomed that after a grueling match. Yeah. I mean, the Skaven have got six players on the pitch, and literally none of them are on the right side of the ball. I mean, that that they've had, they've gone a high octane defense. You know, maybe he felt he had to. Well, obviously, he felt he had to. Maybe he didn't, but maybe he did. You know, maybe he did exactly the right play. You know, maybe it was this desperate, and he had to play it like this. Um, who's to say who's right and who's wrong? But it didn't work out for him. The one turn attempt, he. Uh, he he had to re-roll the pass and then fail the catch. Fail the catch. So pretty unlucky not to score the one turn, even in the rain. Can, can, can he uphill again with a nat? Yeah, the nat you can up, the force reach for an uphill. I've, I've done uh, that for ages at Gravia. Done that for years. Oh, just, man, it's just a joke. It's been going, yes, long, long time. Mm. It's a, a, the origin was based somewhere with Rebel. Yes. Oh. On Rebel, you know that you people shouldn't be too harsh on their uh, critiques of the other players and all that, blah, blah, and all that. And <laughs> as obviously, we took that to the 11. Yeah. There's even a command like, for EAB. <laughs> it's been around yes, for ages. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's been a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go, what a game. And you know, inches away from being a win for, for the Skaven, but there you go. It was not to be. Um... Diomed kept his cool. Mm. And in the end, it paid 23 armor breaks. <laughs> yeah. Versus seven of the Skaven, and the Skaven's every armor break was a dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, there you go. Commiserations, Vlad. Uh, congratulations, Diomed. Thank you very much, Faimir. It's been glorious having you back in the booth. It's always a pleasure to be here, and I hope our viewers from Monaco enjoy this game. And if our female viewer is from uh, Monaco, give me a call, my petit papillon. <laughs> Probably <laughs> <laughs>
Rage, you know that. Oh, wait, wait, the video is not over. The video is not over. Amazing. Amazing. Holy shit. There you go. On that bombshell. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.